so what you see here is my favorite visualization to see if I'm on track with whatever, with sales, with the training, with you name it. It looks a bit complicated, but it's actually not. Let me show you how it works and how you can build it without any custom visual. Okay, so this is how it works. You have on the X axis, the years 2022, three and 2024. The gray bar is the years. Okay, so this is how it works. We have the years on the x-axis, 2022, 2023, 2024. In this case, this is the North Wind data set. And we have the gray bars are the total sales for the year. The blue bars are up to today's date. So this is up to today's date for 2023. This is up to today's date for 2024. So as you can see, just by looking at it, you can see that we are doing a lot better in 2024 than we were doing in 2023. We're doing so well that already in July, we're almost above the total sales for the previous year. It gives you so much information. The reason that I have them together uh, without any space between the bars is this, I have only three years here, but you probably have more than three years. And this allows you to stack more bars and be able to visually see how you are doing very, very quickly. So now that you know how it works, I'm going to show you how to build it. It's actually very easy. I was using Charticulator, but it's not needed anymore. Let me show you. We need to create the bar chart first. So we have the year. And then I have sales. This is just sales, nothing else. This is going to give us the total sales for the year. And then I have a same period last year. Now, remember, if you're going to use the same period last year uh, DAX formula, make sure that you have complete years. I have a video on that. Just remember that. Now that we have it, we're going to create a clustered column chart. We have it there. I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to get rid of the responsiveness. It's annoying. <laughs> No background, no visual border. Another thing that I'm going to do right away for the x-axis, we need to have it categorically in order to remove the space between the bars. So make sure you remember to do that. And then we are going to, for the columns, I'm going to have uh, all first, and then I am going to put on the layout I want no space between the categories and I want a total overlap. You can see there I'm going to, now it's a bit confusing because of the colors and because of the order. So I'm going to sort by year. We want to make sure it's sorting uh, right. And now I'm going to change the colors. So you remember from what we saw before. Now it looks a bit confusing. So for sales i'm going to have this is for the total year i'm going to have the grayest thing and then i'm going to have a border and then for the same period last year i'm going to pick the bluish color that we had before and also add the border now this is up to you how you do it you could actually if you think that you know your users are going to get confused something that you can do is you do not need to let's go back to all you don't need to completely overlap. You could have like a little bit of a space in between and a little bit of space here to show your users that, you know, the total years go all the way. I just find it confusing. I actually prefer to have it all the way, explain it once, enjoy it for life. Right, okay. So we need to get rid of the y-axis. And as you can see, it looks fairly similar already now. One thing that we need to do, we're going to do this a little bit bigger. Uh, there. A little bit bigger. And then we need to put the data labels. The data labels are quite interesting because, let me show you. You want to have total, total, but here on the current year, total and year to date are going to be the same number, obviously. So the total is going to be whatever you have for the year, the same as for year to date. 
So we need to tweak this a little. I have uh, two measures. I'm going to show them to you. So this is how the total level looks. I have a variable that calculates the last year for us, which in this case is 2024. So it does it dynamically, right? And then I have the measure that calculates sales, nothing else. And then I say, if the year that you're on is the last year, don't put any labels, otherwise do total and then format the sales, right? So for the same period last year, it looks exactly the same. So we calculate the max. This is the measure that calculates the same period like this year. And then we say, if we're on the last year, do year to date slash total, otherwise do year to date, right? And now we're going to put them in the chart. So we go to, I love these new data labels. I think they are fantastic. We're going to go to sales. Position is going to be in the out. And then I want to have the value instead of for sales, we want to have total sales, right? And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There you have it, lovely. And you can see that in the last year it's not showing. And then for the year to date, I'm going to put it, I want to put it outside, but it, it just disappears. So I have to put it inside, <laughs> whatever. And then here I'm going to put the simple last year label, and then I'm going to put it in some kind of blue that has enough contrast so you actually can see something. Right. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. And just by looking at it, you can see if you're doing well or if you're not doing well. Here we're doing excellent. It's just, just such a cool way to see a snapshot of your sales. So let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next one.